When a team goes out onto a route, you'll have the ability to assign one crew lead. The crew leader will be the one to create his team through the mobile app at the start of a shift. Click the edit button beside my crew. This will open up a list of crew to choose from. Once the crew lead has picked his team, he can press the update crew member button at the bottom of the page. Your team names will now be listed at the top of the screen. Click next. The crew lead will start the shift, route and site for the crew members. Operators underneath the lead will simply need to select the route. The sites that are showing up as in progress are the sites that the crew lead has started on behalf of his team. The crew members will see this in real time in the app. If for any reason your team needs to change, you can do so by clicking crew shift at the top of the page. Make your changes. And once you are finished, click the update crew member button at the bottom of the screen. Now we'll move forward to the site. When you start a site, it will be the crew lead's responsibility to fill in the required information. This includes weather, ground conditions, temperature and snow depth. It will be both the crew lead's and crew member's responsibility to upload photos. Since there is a team servicing the site, the crew lead must turn the toggle on blue. They are now able to know what services were performed by which crew members. Finally, the crew lead can add in any additional notes before swiping on the end site button found at the bottom of the page. When you go onto the web app, you can see what members are working together by going to the dispatch screen and selecting a record. The first name listed would be the crew lead. They'll have the word leader in brackets beside their name. You have the power to remove members from this shift. Select the red button beside the member's name. The crew lead functionality allows you to significantly enhance the efficiency of your dispatch screen and simplifies surface history reports by consolidating team records. It's important to note that billing report generates a record for each specific service, while the timesheet report generates a timesheet for each individual crew member.